Hello everybody, I'm Bob and we're in Thailand. I'm going to tell you my favorite five runs on a motorcycle that start in Chiang Mai today. And I've lived here about four years, so there's a number of places I've been that the people who've been here for a week or two weeks or even a month or more haven't discovered yet. So hopefully I'll turn you, into, turn you on to a few places you have to know about. Thanks for watching. This is TD Bob. I'm going to show you a few of my favorite motorcycle runs that originate in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and uh, give you some basis for your time if you're coming here. First of all, I'd like to show you the Samoing S A M O E N G loop. This chopstick is authentic. <laughs> You drop down here to Chiang Mai Night Safari and you take 1269 out to Samoing. Samoing has food, um, beverages, restaurants, a city park, and it's a Hmong village. That's H-M-O-N-G. And the little, this run, run takes you right back in by the elephant camp, tiger camp, snake camps, insect camps, butterfly camps and so forth. There is some traffic in this area, but most of this is just, uh, occasionally you'll see something, but not very often. Now, the second loop that I want to show you today is, it also all of these start in Chiang Mai. This one runs down here, and then it comes on out west. Now there's a little stretch of dirt only road here, but it's not, uh, I didn't find it difficult and I'm driving with street tires on a street bike and it was not an issue. The, the natives on the scooters were doing fine too. Now from Samoan, excuse me, from Samoan <laughs> out to about here, this is marked Highway 1349, and then you'll start seeing signs for Pi here, and this is the best stretch of the Mahong Son loop that I've included in the Samoan loop. And that takes you back in here. You can do that in probably five or six hours very comfortably. <clears throat> this largest loop is the Mahong Son loop. It's about 375 miles or 600 kilometers long. Although you can do it in 11 or 10 or 11 hours if you stay with it. Most people are either going to spend the night in Mahong Son or Pai. Excuse me, Pai. Another trip is the Phong Toi An Klong loop, which takes you up here. Now, there's some traffic in this area, but once you get on out toward Chang Dao, the traffic lightens up. Highway 107 is really more interesting through here than you might imagine. This stretch of 1249 has got something that will remind you of the snake in Los Angeles a lot, except that it's maybe 15 or 18 miles of the high quality uh, curves and swerves. This drops on back down into the, into the tribal villages here for a side trip and 1178 runs right back down here to Chiang Dao. So that's another good loop. Now, I call this the May Wind Loop. You come down here and take the May Wind exit, and then run back up to 1349, and you can come back in to Chiang Mai either on 1096 or 1269. The Frey Loop is more of a cruiser loop than it is a sport bike run, but anywhere in Thailand you go, uh, there's gonna be darn few roads that don't have a lot of curves on them. So this is an enjoyable run. There's a lot of good scenery. There's some four-lane stuff, and there's some two-lane stuff. And um, 
there's some construction over on 118 that you want to avoid if at all possible don't go up there when it's been raining because they're cloning the interstate into a four lane from two lanes through the, through the gorge and by golly that's a mess when it's raining and they run water trucks to su uh, supplement the road building even when it's dry so you can get some real real cute red dirt stains all over your person and your motorcycle if you go up there when it's wet. Now I believe that's everything I need to show you on the map although I do want to tell you a few things. First of all when you're riding in Thailand please understand that you're riding on the left the especially the gray tourist bands are a hazard. They will pass three abreast, they will pass around curves, and they are, they're dangerous. I suggest you keep a wide berth of them. Second, uh, and probably most important, although some of this is quite rural, there are plenty of places to stop. I've gotten, I've gotten a tire rim replaced out right before the pavement ends out here and the people gave me strawberries while I was waiting for the tire repair. They couldn't do the repair so they took me up to the Thailand Highway Department. They did the repair with their larger tools and didn't charge me anything so I came out pretty well on that one. The Thai people will bend over backwards to help you. The runs I've shown are all in Northwest Thailand, an area larger than the U.S. state of Florida or the country of Ireland. I've covered about 25,000 miles of travel over that in that area over the last four years. Much of the Northwest of Thailand is populated by tribal people. They have distinct languages and costumes. Chiang Mai province has more temples than Bangkok. The temples in the south and the east are a little different um, structurally, or architecturally, and um, they usually have Chinese giants and Thai giants in the south, and they have uh, these uh, dangerous looking multi-headed creatures called Nagas in the north. Elephant camps are popular with tourists who enjoy a hands-on experience with the big elephants. Most of Northwest Thailand is very mountainous, making for brilliant scenery and exciting motorcycling roads. Temples are a gathering place for Thais and often have a flea market atmosphere. Thailand has a network of reservoirs and canals to distribute irrigation water. Growing rice takes a lot of water compared to other crops. The Mae Hong Sign Loop is world famous and I've met people from at least a dozen countries while out riding the loop. Some of the more rural roads are extremely narrow and may have drop-offs and no shoulder on the roads. It's, a, it's just a test. You'll be okay.